Hey, hey, folks, welcome back to Baldur's Gate with me, Beamy081. Uh, today, we are going to do what we were putting off doing last episode. Uh, <laughs> we're going to speak to our godfather, Grian. So, let's go there. Let's get straight to it. Oh, my child, I am glad I have found you. This is very unnerving, I know, but you must trust me. It is very important that you pack your possessions so that we may leave Candlekeep immediately. Hurry, for there is no time to tarry. The keep is well protected, but not invulnerable. Um, please, father, tell me where we're we going. Alas, I cannot, for I have not truly decided yet. All that is certain is that we will be far safer on the move. Perhaps the woods might offer some secluded security, or perhaps the city of Baldur's Gate would offer cover amidst its teeming throngs of people. Uh, I do not know where we shall end up, but I have a few friends here and there. Hmm. I'll think on this. What could possibly harm us here? This place is a fortress and guarded beyond measure. Candlekeep is indeed a formidable obstacle for ne'er-do-wells, but it is not insurmountable. No matter how thick the mesh, at least one mosquito always finds its way through. No, my child. We must leave as soon as possible for our safety and for that of our friends here. Um, well, I guess actually that's true. We've already been attacked twice while we're here, so... Uh, I guess I'm ready to go right now. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. That was nice of him. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You're perceptive for an old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unhurt. I am sorry that you feel that way, old man. Wow. Bad ass Garion here. Yeah, these guys don't stand a chance. Whoa. Two left. Come on, Garion. His mirror image is gone. Um, Garion? Dawn is especially cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules. And without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned. The ones at the friendly arm. Ooh. It's me, Emmowen. Sorry I followed you, but I never get out of Candlekeep. Those monks are such a bore. Never any decent coin in their pockets, neither. Uh, I saw Gorion, and I'm so sorry. Kind of figured something bad might happen to you out here. How could you have known? Gorion did not even tell me. I accidentally read a letter on his desk the other day. Can't remember exactly what it said, but he might still have it. It might be on his his body. Anyway, I'm not going to let you wander around out here all alone. Never let a friend down. No, sir. Stick with you until you say otherwise, I will. Hmm. And that is exactly why Imwin is going to be my second main. Um, huh? If you remember episode zero, I mentioned... For anybody who hasn't seen episode zero, 
my little quirk for this stage is that I'll be taking yeah, I'll get right every that. NPC I come across who I can have join my party is going to join the party. I'm going to do it by having four main characters and two kind of random slots at the bottom. So, of the four main characters that I'll be going with, Imwin is the first that we've come across, uh, other Hello than there. the protagonist who I created. Uh, well, a busy day for me today indeed. Strange noises throughout the night and now a plethora of people strolling about the wood. You do look a touch more hospitable than the last two I met, though. Well met, stranger. I am called Colset. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Stand away from me. I have very little trust left after last night's events, and I'll not waste any on you. Well, I imagine you're either the cause or a victim of the carnage I heard to the north last night. It's a shame what the iron shortage has done to people's manners. You would do well to treat people you meet with a touch more respect, at least until you determine if they're a threat or not. You'll not get far if you don't make friends, though there are a couple of fellows on the road to the east that would suit your demeanour quite nicely, I'm sure. Uh, I apologise for the outburst, but I'm in, a di in dire straits. Can you help me? I have little to give besides advice and goodwill. Make friends where you can, as travelling alone is almost certain death. You will want to surround yourself with like-minded companions, lest you risk making enemies in your own party. Aside from this little tidbit of wis wisdom, I'd say you're on your own. Luck be with you. Yeah, to you as well. Fare thee well, as they say. Well, if we check the map, we can see that Garion died up here, so let's head on up. Oh, well, you've got a fight in our hands. My blade. And Imun, that's a good point, actually. We'll check Imun's equipment quickly. And we will give her two healing potions. The main character will... Um, I keep calling him the main character because I can't remember his name. Duranak. Duranak will have... He's got two healing potions there. Uh, she's also got oil of speed and a wand of magic missile. The wand will be coming very useful at points. Uh, may as well put them together. Huh, you're a queer fellow. And let's carry on. Where are you, Nothing boss? on it. If you see the hit points kind of popping above the head like that, it's because I'm pressing the tab button. It um, shows anything lootable. And that is... One of the annoying things about this game is anything can be lootable. <laughs> um, which is to say that you need to keep an eye on Like, I know... I think there's a tree in this area that is lootable, and it has quite a nice item in it. So, that'll be why I'm keeping that on. Okay. And when you yeah. stay where you are, what do you want? Where we're going to loot boss? the bodies. Take what we can. Uh, doesn't look like those ogres left anything. Let's go see what Garan has on him then. Oh, miss must have misclicked there. He has a magical belt, a scroll, dagger, and some gold. Okay. Huh? So what do we get? We got magical belt. That's what this blue thing means. Blue means it's unidentified magic. Uh, red means it can't be used by the character that's holding it. Um, and yeah, uh, we can right click to look at things. So, my friend Gorion, please forgive the abruptness with which I now write, but time is short and there is much to be done. What we have long feared may soon come to pass, though not in the manner foretold, and certainly not in the proper time frame. As we both know, forecasting these events has proved increasingly difficult, leaving little option other than a leap of faith. We have done what we can for those in, the, in thy care, but the time nears when we must step back and let matters take what course they will. We have perhaps been a touch too sheltering to this point. Despite my desire to remain neutral in this matter, I could not in good conscience let events proceed without some measure of warning. The other side will move very soon, and I urge thee to leave Candlekeep this very night if possible. The darkness may, may seem equally threatening, but a moving target is much harder to hit. Regardless of how sparse the cover, a fighting chance is all that can be asked for at this point. Should anything go awry, do not hesitate to seek aid from travellers along the way. I do not need to remind the other that it is a dangerous land, even without our current concerns, and a party is stronger than an individual in all respects. Should additional assistance be required, I understand that Jahira and Khalid are currently at the friendly arm inn. They know little of what has passed, but they are ever thy friends and will no doubt help however they can. Look, boo of us all, I'm getting too old for this. E. Well. What you got for me this time? So, yeah? Garion knew that what something was happening. Ahead of you, boss? Hmm. Now, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to head back to the road and head on up to the friendly arm in. Um, I'm going to 
pretty much every time I come across an area, I'm going to try and fully explore it. However, with only two people on party right now, I'm thinking it's a better idea to go and bulk up um, the numbers a little. Uh, speaking of which, who are you two? Montoran, you are so aggravating! She's disturbing to my demeanor! A child wandering the wilderness? Surely you must be none too bright to be travelling these roads. And you look a bit scuffed too. A fine pair of troubles all your own. Indeed, I can offer you healing potions, if you wish, as a token of goodwill. Um... Would it really be wise to, um... Accept random drinks from, uh, especially magical drinks from one from uh, people we see on the road. Um, oh, then again, I'd be grateful for any assistance. Nothing to fear from these simple potions, and I'll not even hold you in debt, though your conscience knows otherwise. Just like all good people. Perhaps as payment, you would go with us to Nashville. It's a troubled area, and we mean to investigate some disturbing rumours surrounding the local mines. Some acquaintances are very concerned about the iron shortage. Specifically, where to lay blame in the matter. You would be useful, though. I will not hold you to it. We are to meet the mayor of the town, a man named Baron Gastkill, I believe. Your conscience be a guide. Mm, I would join with you, but I must meet someone first. Perhaps you'll go with me? We've precious little time, but it's best to travel accompanied. Aye, we'll go with you. You owe us for a time, though. Mm. Must we be so... Insufferably charitable! Sorry about the skips there, folks. Um, first coughing fit, then uh, my housemate uh, knocking at my door. So, uh, all you missed was I came into the inventory. And this guy, um, Montron, has a Montron has a potion of healing and a potion of an oil of speed. And Zar has a Lolex Mana Drain scroll and a Chill Touch scroll. Um, he's got both in his spellbook already, which we'll have a quick look at, actually, if he's in the party. Uh, my drain. So the, these two, Chill Touch is effectively damage, uh, I believe. It's a touch spell, which means you have to be able to touch them, uh, as it says on the <laughs> screen. Um, so yeah, it's just basically, it's an unarmed attack that does its normal unarmed damage, but plus uh, an extra load of um, magical damage. Uh, along with that, he's got Lolox Minor Drain, which basically takes up to 1d4, uh, between 1 and 4 hit points from the enemy and gives it to him. It's quite a nice spell. Mm, both fairly evil spells. Um, <clears throat> but, he's with us now. Um, and he's got spares, basically, which means that he can cast them if he runs out of the ones he's memorised. So, huh? let's all get Where going to the friendly arm in, shall we? I think the way I'm going to do this with the random party members is say if they die or if they if I find somebody else to replace them, that's when I'll get rid of them. I'm not just gonna chuck them out the pie. Or unless they decide that they don't want to be in the party, which does happen. Um, they may just turn around and just outright attack me. Okay. My blade will cut you down to size. Something I could do no other. No, stop doing that. Stop. Excuse me, sir. Please stop running towards the wolf. You are a mage, not a fighter. Screw it. If you want to go in, go in oh, Christ! What you got for me? This top of my to-do list. Get out of there! Oh, it's the wolf. It's not supposed to be tough. Yeah. Oh God! Oh Christ! Things are going wrong straight off here. Huh? We've already Where lost a party lost? member. Um, that, despite the fact that I didn't want these guys in party, I will say now that wasn't on purpose either. That what was just... Well, hell, you saw how bad luck that yeah, combat right was um, with Duranak, uh, Duranak taking a hit fairly early on. and That was ridiculous. Um, that's a good yeah. uh, point to a quick save, to I reckon. Let's... Oh, it looks like we'll carry on as a threesome. So, head over here. Oh, there, one. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. It's been nigh upon a ten days since I've seen a soul walking this road, and I've been without a decent conversation since. Travelling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. If thou wouldst pardon my intrusion, may I inquire which pertains to thee? Uh. 
A uh, fair bit of desperate, actually. Might you know the way to the friendly arm inn? I was told I might find some friends there. That I would. The inn is but a short distance to the north, and its doors are open to all. I have no doubt that thy friends shall be there, waiting with open arms. My sympathies for any hardships the road may have inflicted upon thee, though. I am certain everything shall turn out for the best. My, but I have wasted too much of thy time, and said too much already. I shall take my leave, and wish thee all the best. Um, thank you. Huh? Top of my to-do list. Bye, sir. Hmm. So, anybody who has um, spent much time uh, playing games of this setting or um, reading the various novels and stuff um, based within Faerun, which is what this setting is, um, may actually recognise that old man. I think, like, I don't know who he is for certain, but I'm pretty sure I know who he is. Um, not going to say, uh, not going to guess in case I'm right and it spoils something, but, well, a few clues um, have made me pretty sure I'm, I know who it is, but I don't know, I may be completely off of it, so I won't, I won't say as well, just so I don't make a fool myself. <laughs> Anyhow, Hello, if you don't mind, please try to keep your voices down. There'd be beasties with, about with better hearing than we. Uh, what should I be wary of in this area? Around here? I wouldn't worry yourself too much, unless you're brainless and charge everything you see. Mostly gimblings, but they aren't, they aren't too much of a hassle. A fair bow and a good sword arm could handle one, maybe two. More with Major Cleric back up. Wolves have become a bit more predatory lately. I know. <laughs> uh, I think it's because more people are hunting for their food. Seeing as how the iron shortage took away their normal livelihoods, a hungry wolf is a nasty thing, and I wouldn't travel without a group if I were you. Mm. Even in a group, they're dangerous, unfortunately. I still can't believe that. That was just really, really. And the thing about this game is, you can be incredibly tactical and um, incredibly strategic. Not saying that I was, but it still, unfortunately, comes down a lot to luck because you have been waylaid by enemies oh. and must defend yourself. Oh. Okay, I can't see anything. Um. Um. Okay, one sec, folk. Uh, folks, I will be right back. I'm just gonna have to reload that quick save. I think. Uh Alright, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that, folks. A bit of a strange glitch that it paused as soon as it, um, like, as soon as it entered the screen, so it made everything black. However, we're here now. We can head on to the end. Um, I didn't do the encounter. The ambush had to reload and auto save um, off before me clicking to enter here, so. Either way, uh, let's head on in. Huh. You know, I'm still reeling over this. I can't. Uh. Oh, yeah. What I was saying um, before enters areas. This game is five part, uh, like two part strategy to one part luck. Um, in the way that all combat is is a load of dice rolls, uh, like in the real pen and paper stuff. Um, basically, like when you attack things, you roll for both attacking and damage. So. Even if you um, get the right attack and hit, you're not necessarily going to do a lot of damage. It's um, it's all dependent on luck, and admittedly, your stats and stuff do make a lot of difference. They do do a lot towards directing that luck. But anyhow, sorry. Uh, hi, friend. I've not seen you here before today. What brings you to the friendly arm? Nothing much, really. Just road-worn travellers looking for a place to rest. I see, I see. Pardon my being too forward, but you're the bearing of someone I've been looking for. About your height, they were. Same style of dress, or thereabouts. I dare say you seem to be the spitting image of them. Might you have travelled from Candlekeep, by any chance? Uh, I may have visited there on occasion. What of it? Oh, nothing really. I'm just looking for someone from that region. Uh, would your name be Duranak, by any chance? Hmm. Um... <laughs> Well, we're looking for people. Um, Grind said he's got friends there, so... Why, yes, it is. Perfect, you're indeed the person I seek. Uh, hold still a moment, won't you? 
and suddenly he attacks. Let's get him. And the guards have come to help. Fortunately, this guy's a bit of an idiot, or a bit too arrogant, uh, attacking right in the middle of them. Um, oh! Maybe rightfully arrogant. Ugh, this just isn't going well. How is this good? <sighs> okay, I'm back. Um, You're a queer fellow. We're going to start this battle off a little differently this time. He casts Mirror Image, which makes it very hard for both um, Duranak and Monteron, uh, or Mentoron to hit him. However, what you got hopefully, Inwing can get this magic missile off and disrupt that spell. Yes! Nicely done. And he's down! That is the power of magic missile, especially if you know what's coming. It always hits, it always does damage, and yeah, spellcasters, one of their flaws is... It's hard to cast spells when you're taking hits, um, and it can be just completely disrupted like you just saw. Well, let's see what he had on him. He had a scroll, three magical scrolls, and he is full, so Imwin, you, you pick want? it up. Hmm. I'm gone. Uh, he also has a quarter staff, which we don't want, and some gold. Huh? Okay, not going to fork out the money boss? to raise Zar. Um, he seemed pretty useless, rushing in with a dagger as a, as a mage, and not the smartest of fools. So, hey, but we're here. We're in for in the arm. Hey, oh. Good to meet Took us. Side, such as I can't stand the way the roads are cut off these days. My uncle's in Baldur's Gate, and I can't get there to see him. Uh, how come the roads are cut off? Where have you been these past few months? The roads are crawling with brigands and bandits after every scrap of iron you got on you. Surely you must have fled some on your trip here. Lest you came by the West Road, that is. Why is the West Road still open? <laughs> if there's ever a book shortage, that road to Candlekeep will be the most dangerous of them all, I assure you. But these folks are after Mel, so they're sticking mainly to the larger trade routes between Baldur's Gate and Arm. And guess what? This area is smack dab in the middle of it all. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's head up and... Hmm. Who are you two armoured uh, fellows? Let's have a word of you, shall we? Uh, actually, Khalid and Jadera. Jadera. <laughs> Calm yourself, dear. We must proceed c carefully. Something about you is f f familiar, child. Your manner reminds me of a sage I know, but by the name of Gorion? It is almost a slight on him, but I see it too. Jadera, mind your m manners. This must be the child that Gorion wrote of so often. We are old friends of your adopted father. He's not with you? I must assume the worst. He would not permit his only child to wander without his accompaniment. If if he has passed, we share your loss. Gorion often said that he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Khalid and I would become your guardians if he should ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now, and the choice of your companions should be your own. We could tr travel with you until you get settled, help you find your l lot in life. Hmm. It would be a fitting last service to Gorion. So we should go fir first go to Nashville. Khalid and I should look into local concerns, and there are rumours of strange things happening at the mines. No doubt you have heard of the iron shortage. You would do well to help us. It affects everyone, including you. We are to meet the mayor of the town, Baron Gastkiel. Your company would be welcome. Uh, actually, I'm already going to Nashville. One of my current acquaintances wishes to visit there as well. Indeed. Interesting. In that case, I think we should definitely travel as one. You can never be too careful about the dangers of the open road, wherever they may spring from. Too true. Well, Ryan, what you <laughs> your actions. So, let's have a talk to Bentley Mirashay, the barkeep. Iron is the lifeblood of this whole region, and it's sure painful when it gets scarce. So, what can I do for you? What do you have to sell? Okay, let's sell... Oh, actually, I should probably... Before doing anything, let's... Done. Let's have a quick look. Uh, Imwin, what are you wearing? Nothing. <laughs> well, <you know. laughs> hey, hey. Uh, I mean, not armor-wise, anyhow, unfortunately. Uh, but she's now wearing that. Personal item. What? What's this? Oh, longsword. There we go. I don't know why that said personal item. Um, so, Imwin has a bow. She can't use a longbow, so I'm not even sure why I'm checking if that's one. Uh, she, however, can 
use scrolls, I believe it or not. Um, if I give her these scrolls, she should. Uh, no, she can't. Never mind. Uh, how, um, however, I'll keep. I'll give them to her to keep hold of. She's got the lowest carrying capacity of the group, so she may as well fill up her inventory of scrolls that I just need to hold on to. I'll identify that when I get the chance. Uh, Jahira and Khalid. What have you got? Potion of healing. We'll put that in your inventory. And what's this? Potion of invisibility. Guess we'll give that to you. And if you need to during a combat, you can drink, gulp that down, and go and heal yourself. That makes sense. Oh, that's a healing potion. Give that to Jahira. Um, and that is as far as we've got. Uh, what weapon are you using, Khalid? You're using a longsword, so we'll also give you this longsword. Uh, one thing about this game, a bit of a quirk of it, is with the iron problems, that means any mundane weapons, that's any non-magical weapons, they can break. Uh, it's a random thing, I think it's like a 1% chance uh, every time you hit uh, with it, and it just breaks, so if you don't have backup weapons, you're screwed. Speaking of which, I should probably buy some backup weapons. <laughs> so... Let's talk to Ian Keep and get that done now. All who behave themselves. Okay, actually, uh, I need to identify that when I get a chance as well. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Bounty notice. Be it known to all those of evil intent that a bounty has been placed upon the head of Duronak, the foster child of Gorion. Last seen in the area of Candlekeep, this person is to be killed in quick order. Those returning with proof of the deed shall receive no less than 200 coins of gold. As always, any that reveal these plans to the forces of law shall join the target in their fate. Hmm. Well, that was what we picked up off that uh, wizard who went after us. So, we'll sell that if this guy's willing to buy it. Uh, wait, no, did we just... Is it wise to sell a um, bounty on your head? It's... it's uh, I'm a bit confused now. Uh, anyhow, we will buy a second Warhammer. If he sells them. There we go. Warhammer. Uh, we will buy Imwin a load of arrows. Mm, do do do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I believe she has like about twenty so far. So we'll buy her what she needs to fill up. Uh, he's got an extra longsword. She's got a quarter staff. I don't think quarter staffs break. I'm not sure. I think it's just metal weaponry. I may be completely wrong there. However, she does need a sling with some ammo. So, where is it? Sling. Hmm. What was Khalid wearing? Khalid. I should probably check that. Uh, I'll do that now. He is wearing split mail, which I think is actually, yeah, it's what um, Duronak is wearing. And he's using a medium shield, which is enough. Although, uh, can I yeah, help it's you? enough. Yeah? What do you want? So... Uh, let's rest, actually. Uh, do, do, do. She also has spells. She is a druid fighter, which means that she has slightly different spells than um, Duronic. And I think she's actually the first uh, example of a multi-class character that we've come across uh, as of yet. She's basically, she levels up in both fighter and druid. Um, meaning that She's pretty tough, but she also is able to cast uh, the druidic spells. So, if we go into the priest uh, thing, what's she got? She's got Armor of Faith, we've gone for over that, Bless, Cure Light, Protect Evil, Doom, uh, Entangle. I think the only one that differs from um, what uh, Duronak can learn is Entangle, which is basically anybody within the area, ally or bad guy, can get entangled, and it'll keep... As long as they're in there, even if they've um, got away from it the first time, it'll keep grabbing at them. Basically holds them in place and lets you shoot at them from afar. It's a really, really useful spell, and I recommend it highly. Especially since Duronic can cast heals, I'm going to throw it on there twice. Um, and you'll see why as soon as we start using it, uh, in all honesty. So, huh? why well, you got so many? And we will rest in themselves. the noble rooms. I should mention, don't rest in peasant rooms. Um, peasant rooms, there is a chance that you will catch disease, basically, there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do that in Merchant. I think there's less chance in Merchant, but I think Noble and Royal, I'm pretty sure you can't. Um, so, we'll go to sleep.
And as the new day dawns, I think this is a good place to leave it. So, with Gorion defeated by the man in the spiked armor who seems to be chasing after us, um, what you got who you put a bounty on our head even, uh, we will leave it here. Um, we've got a new party full of new allies, uh, some old friends of Grind, some just strange, strange travelers, and some dead. Um, but either way, we will call it there, folks. So, as I think I've said a few times, maybe? Uh, anyhow, uh, <laughs> catch you later. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. Bye-bye.